All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll do a short, a short unboxing of the Love Watch strap. Then after that, I'll do a short review regarding the straps, the quality of these straps. Then after that, I'll compare Love Watch strap versus Nomad Watch Works Watch strap. So basically, after you open your envelope, you'll see a card. Thank you, hope you like the strap, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, contact us if you have any inquiries, then hashtag love straps, and how to actually wear your needle straps properly. You can actually fold it inwards or push the keeper outwards. And next, you have actually the packaging. One third date of the life, reward 100,000. I think that's a really interesting, very adorable marketing I see. All right, let's go on to open the packaging. Okay, I'm done. So just open it up. Let's put this one side. And there's a really nice small pouch inside. I guess you can actually use this to keep your watch strap when you have when you need to. So here comes the box. Okay, it's away. Nicely done. Nicely done. I really think this is really nice. Okay, love box strap. Designed in Singapore, net weight about 100 grams. 100% quality Lux NATO. So, they actually show some of the features here floating keepers, tight weaving, engraved logo, and premium hardware. Let's see whether that is true or not. Right, so let me see. Alright. I'm trying to actually leave all the boxes so you can see everything at one go. Alright, love watch strap. So I can actually see from here I do have perhaps two straps. Alright. Nice. So basically, I got the, I got two straps from them, and it, one is the classic bond NATO strap. Another one is the modern bond NATO strap. Some people to hold both straps together. And I realized that's a lot of packaging. You start, you start with the paper outside, then you start with this. Then after you go metal box, then after you still have one more. Just to protect the, I guess because this is polished from getting scratched. Right, I just leave it off here. Alright. First impression, first impression. I think it looks really good. It's actually really soft. It's really, really soft. It's smooth and it's really soft. It's, it's super soft. I wouldn't say it's bad quality, but it's really soft. It's feels and I believe it's also a seatbelt NATO, so that's what that's a reason why it's so soft. Some threads over here. Alright, let's take a look at that. really really nice it's so soft oh my god it's i think it's because it's seat belt nato that's why it's so soft just look at the weaving it's really nice
Alright, so let's take this as a guidance. So they say floating keepers, and what he means is floating keepers are these things over here. So you can just move this thing. Then tight weaving, I, I guess that's where we went through the weavings. And this is seatbelt NATO, so the weaving is really different from the normal NATO that I had. I think it's really good. Okay, so they have engraved logos at the buckle on both sides. Let's take a look. Okay, how about this? Engraves logo. Nicely done. Laugh hot strap. And let's don't miss this. There's a little tiny scar over here. Same as the one on the packaging. A really nice touch. Alright. So let's move on to uh my honest reviews so first thing first the buckle as you can see it's a bit loose but uh, i don't think that, i think that's totally fine because what we are looking out for is actually the pin over here this thing has to be tight because it's it's gonna go through the holes so i guess that's fine so it's pretty good so next one is the stitching Stitching looks like it's a double whip, double stitch. Looks really good. There's, the, there's no fray for the moment and it looks neat. Neatly done. Next one you have to check. Oh, these are like buckles. So they have these floating keepers which I'll show you how it will be done later. But I think it's really good. Next one is the side of the stitching. I think because it's seat belt NATO, it's not, it's not as rough as the normal NATO that you usually receive. So you can see, it's uh, as for my feel, it's really really soft. Next are the holes. I'm not sure if you can see these, but they are actually all a little bit burnt. So it's it's not like. It's not, it will not fray so fast. Last thing is this. They have a very sharp cut on the ends. And both of these are 22 millimeters. So I'll move on to move, the, move all this aside and I'll bring in my Nomad Watchworks straps. Alright guys, welcome back. So these two are from Love Fort Strap and these two are from Nomad Watch Work. So basically let's start with the classic bond. I just want to show you that the size of the buckles. The one on Love is much thicker. And from Nomad is a thinner version. Next uh, will be the buckle you see from here. They use a thicker material as compared to the Nomad one, especially the pins. I just move it to the side so you can see it properly. The pins are a giveaway of a more expensive watch strap. As you can see, I would really prefer a thicker version because you can wear it more securely. Then one thing is that they have a logo engraved over here then Nomad is just a very basic one so next let's move on to the stitching as you can see there's a difference between the stitching from Love and Nomad and you can see that the lines are not actually straight on the double red lines on both the green lines on the stitching over here, let's move to the back so you can see clearer. That's not much of a difference, but you can see that uh, the laugh watch strap actually uses a thicker track compared to 
no man and for the pinholes uh, I would say both are equally well done because both are glued both are burnt so that they don't fray but I think overall the left foot strap won this because it, it is really comfortable and I think you're gonna get this for just like a few dollars more compared to the normal digital strap and these are what they call the premium quality seatbelt needle so there's a reason why it's also much better oh and not to forget one has the sharp edge one has a rock coin edge so there is one difference this one um i think it will help i'm not sure yet i haven't got it on my watch but i think it will help going on going into the strap easier as compared to the round edge so moving on you have the zulu strap so actually this is pretty close to the zulu spin as you can see it's a thicker it's a thicker pin zulu has a thicker pin as well but surprisingly this is even thicker than this so i always love this kind of rectangular uh pin uh, buckle sorry then round links over here square everything's the same but you need to know that zulu is made to be whole all the conditions that it's supposed to go through in the field but then seatbelt nato it's very very soft so there's a that's one of the huge difference see this is this is hard man but this is like so soft you see it's damn soft it's super soft which is uh, i think it will work brilliantly for a watch strap because it, it's going to be so comfortable so the holes actually i really like the holes on the zulu because it's it's very distinct it's defined it's obvious and somehow it's pretty aggressive kind of like it but yep i don't think there's much difference over here other than because it's stiffer and harder but other than that it's just this p double double buckle over here and single but do note that uh one special thing about love is that they have a moving links which is different from the zulu here and the nato here so let's jump into the let's put this on to my steinhardt and let's see how it looks like wrist roll check okay so actually when i was actually putting the strap on i realized that it's really really soft it's, it slides down the watch pins really comfortably so this is a, this is really nice this actually the engrave logo you can see yourself then the buckle then after that, this pin is because we, it can move, so you can actually move it all the way up so that it tightens here. I think the whole the whole looks is perfect. It's really comfortable. It's much more comfortable than the Zulu or the NATO. I think this is the good deal. This is really comfortable. It's so soft. You. You really feel very comfortable with this. I have a Marine National strap with me over here. And I thought this was comfortable because it's elastic. But this, I mean, the elasticity from this um, Marine National is good, but this is soft, man. This is really soft. This is comfortable. It's because it's smooth. It's soft, you don't really feel much tension on your wrist. You don't feel like something is there squeezing you. The edges are soft, so when you move it, when the watch 
the strap moves around. You don't actually feel the edges from like the normal Zulu or NATO that is very very rough. This is really smooth, it's really comfortable. Alright guys, anyways I hope you like this video and leave a comment down below whether you think a seatbelt NATO, a Zulu or a normal NATO, a bracelet or maybe a Marine National, which one is actually one of the watch strap that you really like and let me know because for me I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm lost for words now, but I um, I really love this strap. I, I didn't know a seatbelt meter would be so comfortable on the wrist. I've this is my first time having this, so wow. Yep. So let me know down below, thumbs up if you like this short review, and I'll see you next time. Peace.